Even if you and your spouse both are on Zoom call virtually, but Canada's Immigration Department demands you to be in the same place physically to get married, for spousal sponsorship. Furthermore, Canada's Immigration Department doesn't acknowledge virtual marriages for family class sponsorship, nevertheless, foreign spouses could still be able to cross the border. Please support our channel by subscribing to our channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates on your screens. You can also share our videos with your friends and family on Facebook, WhatsApp and Twitter. Marriages on Zoom, not accepted for Canadian immigration. The rule dates back to the year 2015. Immigration Refugees and Citizenship Canada determined that, only Canadian Armed Forces members could sponsor their partners, who they married from a far-off location, and only if specific situations compelled their marriage, to be done only or by proxy. This conclusion, which is initiating some cross-border couples' annoyances today, was an attempt to stop victims of forced marriage from being entitled for immigration. Proxy marriages expedite this type of abuse, as neither individuals has to be there for the solemnization. In plain words, it is simpler to push two people, to get married if they are not the one signing the contract. But when it's about legitimate couple, who needs to have a video conference wedding due to COVID-19 measures, immigration law experts question whether or not, it is considered as a proxy wedding. The dissimilarity between proxy and virtual weddings is that, proxies can be done by a delegate, whereas couples join in virtual ceremonies, either via video messenger, phone or even fax. The rules and regulations, under the Immigration Refugee Protection Regulations exclusively states that, couples have to be physically present at their marriage ceremony, in order to be judged for spousal sponsorship. According to Immigration Refugees and Citizenship Canada, and Canadian Border Services Agency, to be counted physically present at a marriage ceremony, both husband and wife, must have joined in a wedding ceremony in person. The in-person merit, appears to be gradually called for during the COVID-19 pandemic. Demand for virtual marriages increased in March 2020, and has stayed constant since. This is the end of today's video update. Thanks for watching. Once again don't forget to subscribe to our channels for the best updates on UK and Canadian immigration updates.